librarian. You charming, wet in the ass, hard as a, a goddamn rock. Don't get me started on this channel, Eccentric Rockstar Seed here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eccentric Rockstar Seed, and I'm here with another creative endeavor. You keep in mind, you take what resonates and leave what does not. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It's a lot of water running. It gives me the emphasis on that splash, splash uh, type of energy. You dig? Uh, that's my child is uh, washing, washing the dishes. Pardon the noise in the background, but that's kind of therapeutic in a sense. All right, let's sage. We already prayed. I get Can't Nobody by Faith Evans. Little Wayne Can't Nobody. Moments in Love by The Art of Noise. Heavy emphasis on artistry, artistic, creative expression. Half Crazy by Music. You used to laugh, now you get mad. Damn, I just want my friend back. But then you got, on the other hand, it's, another, it's like two past tense connections that you're thinking about. Or it's been playing heavy on your mind. Let's see. Your, your overall energy is, you have your ancestors here. I just feel like you want to break generational curses. Okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, it's way too loud in here. Hold on. My bad, librarian. You have the ancestors. I just feel, I get what that is. You want to break generational curses. It was clarifying that. It's the game master. It's like that. I know I got some game somewhere that I can make a quick million bucks. You got harmony. I feel like you met someone, you know, with a chariot. You're being led by your ancestors to go towards that person. You want to make something of yourself. Start with that self-love and start with loving that person. Hmm. What, librarian? Your ancestors told you to do all that? All right. The energy I got is I can expand time when I'm feeling inspired. Then you got creating art. Okay? Look at this picture. Isn't that so jazzy? That's so decadent. I'm hearing sound healing. You know, 432, like, frequency. Those sounds, those uh, sleep sharper image machine or sound images or you know just making up your own therapeutic beats or therapeutic sounds you know to heal yourself to zen out that's where i get with little wayne it's like i don't want to hear you that i'm just tapping in shit all right i'm not on that dm shit all right i don't want to hear that twin flame shit all right now that's a libra woman talking like that you talk like that libra librarian you got nine of pentacles the evolution is like a judgment, like judgment card. That's, whew. That's a, a spiritual evolution. And then you got mystical ecstasy. You want a, a higher frequency than your person. And you wasn't going to let nobody bro to you out of that. What else do I get from you? Okay, you can have all four elements in your chart, air, fire, earth, water. You will get what you want with your end goals. You know, whatever your end goals are, you're going to get what you want. Using that 432 sound frequency, I, I think I'm saying it wrong. I don't know. So, let's get into it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's talk about the situation on hand. You got the nine of wands is the situation on hand. That can represent paranoia or the good fight. Clarified by the king of swords. So I get that. What I get from that is the good fight. Okay? The main influence is that you're a warrior. The, the knight, I'm sorry, the swords and the wands are the warriors of the deck. You're fighting feasible. That means by way of God, in the name of God. Nine of Wands. Like you, you, you're a professional gen slayer. Is what I get from this. 
and uh, and somebody has that opposing energy. They going freaking ballistic over your energy. Okay, that's why the other song by Faith Evans can't, ain't nobody who can love me like you. Nobody has ever loved me like you. That's the other person, and you like I ain't trying to hear that shit right now. All right. Okay. The second influence is the Queen of Wands, clarifying by the Ace of Pentacles. That's the obstacle for that person, but the second and the, the other main influence. So that's yin yang energy. Well, I just mentioned about that twin flame, okay? That's yin yang energy with the king. That's how I saw a balance, too. The King of Swords and the Queen of Wands, that's balance of masculine, feminine energy. So I feel like that's. A female librarian is who I'm talking to, and that's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. Someone see you as a golden opportunity, you know, the opportunity that don't come around every day, okay? Maybe somebody was a game master as to why it didn't take off. Ha ha, <laughs> what else? The goal, the main goal or the aim is you got the magician clarified by the Two of Swords. You're supposed to cut out all confusion and just deal with the facts. That's what we're supposed to be doing over here. That's what we do on this channel. You cipher through all, you cut through all. If you're showing up as the king of, of swords, clarify, you know, and the obstacle is, is the, your spirituality. is like you couldn't be a bullshitter or level with a game master because that's a knight of swords. That's a level of a game master. You're a king of swords. So your person could be at a king of swords level. Could, could have been trying to run game and you made the motherfuckers look crazy. Okay, because then, how do I want to say it? I was about to say something. With the magician card, she has a mask coming off her face. You couldn't call, you're not here for like confusion or anything like that. No one could really qualify to spin you. You're the mature one. You know, you're older. It's like you're smarter than a middle school kid. You're smarter than anybody that's younger than you. Kings are very mature energy, so are queens. So a knight is young at heart, 25 to 35 years old. These are people who are young-minded. This person was young-minded about you. And you're showing up taking action. The king's is masculine energy that's taking action. You're going to tell the truth, okay? You're going to slay them gins that's coming with this person or came with this person, okay? Transition, all right? I think you transformed this person. That's why they're in love with you like that. Or they're, they're kind of like tripping over their feet because you actually have the Knight of Swords here twice. And we're going to keep going. Okay, so the root of the matter, like what's forgotten is that Five of Cups and that Ten of Swords. And so what I get from that is this person is so much regret. The hole they dug for you, they fell in it themselves because you obviously are the king to a knight. What is a knight to a king? You dig what I'm saying? Like, you better pick your battles wisely. I'm way too goddamn smart for you. You dig what I'm saying? But I feel like this is your energy, too. That overall energy with the harmony. You see that? I didn't show you that. That's harmony. That's clarified by your ancestors and the chariot. You know how to get up and go make it do what it do. Like, all right, next mission. This person dropped the ball. Okay? You failed. Okay, and you killed you, killed you, and you're dead. That's expression from North New Jersey. Okay, that's what my family say. It's an expression. It means you're salty. You're the one that's looking crazy. Okay, you want this person to be like all oh, mentally discombobulated. Like that's a king you talking to. I don't care if it's a woman. That's a king. We just don't do that. We're not about that life. So the past influence. You got the Knight of Pentacles. That's very slow moving. Strategic, take your time and build it right. Clarified by the Ace of Cups. Yeah. Y'all were supposed to take your time and build it right. So what got rushed in the process? You see that tattoo on that person's back? That Zen shit, all right? I mean, that yin-yang stuff. Clarified by the Ace of Cups. This was God approved. And something got rushed. And it just went off track. So the near future would be the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. You see her on the Knight of Swords? It's like, I'm sorry I was a dick. The devil made me do it. Somebody's going to try to come at you with some charming words with the Page of Cups. Like, i sorry. My bad. Immature. 
or start somewhere. They might be a little nervous about you because they realize you're shaking their spirits to the core. Or at least your ancestors did. So when you got the actual incident, okay, the actual thing that this whole energy is surrounded by, you have the Three of Pentacles. Supposed to be working together. The Two of Wands is clarifying the Three of Pentacles. That can equal up to five, okay? And a five could be changed. You could change course with the chariot. This person change course, flexing with your muscles. How are you gonna flex with my, with my things? These are my things. These are my diamonds and pearls. These are my pearls of wisdom and I'm sharing them with you, you dumb fuck. So how are you taking them and, and trying to steal them for yourself or go feed another connection with my stuff? What is wrong with these people these days? Little sissy fine little girls and stuff. But we really talking about the men. Librarian, you gotta guess that King of Swords energy, you know. You come with the with the with the gusto. Like I'm gonna say it how I mean it. Who cares? Who doesn't like it? Now you got the environmental attitudes, the six of pentacles, clarified by the moon in reverse. Six of pentacles, reciprocity. You know, it's a trial for you. You recognize this with pearls of wisdom. If you're fighting by way of God, you recognize the Six of Pentacles also talks about it's easy to be on the giving end, the one that's the giver. But are you just as gusto as being on the receiving end when you, it's your turn to need help? That could be what you're teaching this person. You may not be in the mood at your best by Alia. You may not be in the mood to learn what you think you already know. And that's no secret. With the moon in reverse, you have to trust your intuition. You can't be bouncing all over the place like that. So whatever your hopes and fears are, what they consist of is the justice. Clarified by the seven of pentacles. I'm scared to reap what I sow with the errors of judgment that I've made. But I understand, you know, if I, if I got to go through a little bit of prison time, that could be spiritual or quite literal. Because pentacles are tangible things. So you could have stole something for real. Or tried to take something from somebody for real. This could be perjury. This could be stealing other people's work. This could be stealing other people's, ciphering other people's energy. You know, to make yourself look better. You dig what I'm saying? And the overall, the overall outcome is the two of coins. Which is your two of pentacles clarified by the ace of swords. You're going to have two businesses. I get that someone might do a little bit of jail time, seven months, not years, seven months, maybe even seven years for stealing something, but you wash the money. So you're going to have two businesses to, or two homes, two, two forms. You have equity. I see equity, two, two forms of equity to have, you know, to, to, you're going to wash the money and build two forms of equity. So one could be for professionalism, while the other one could be for family and home. All right, librarian. I like it. I like it a lot. Creating art. Being a game master. It's like I got it from my family. I get it from my parents, my grandparents. You know, they, they had the gift to gab, okay? Then you got pirates. This is about luck, prosperity, or success. It's about attracting abundance, wealth, and prosperity. It's like the, the stone that's known of fool's gold. You know, it encourages you to follow your dreams and envisions that you desire. And you manifest powers, you know, hold on. When this stone is struck against another stone or metal, it's believed to contain the element of fire in its core. So there's a lot of passion that comes with the stone, with manifesting what's yours. You get, your Mars could be in Leo. It doesn't have to be, but it could be, okay? But it also acts as a powerful protector, shielding you from negativity and protecting the integrity of your aura. Strike fast and don't look back. I feel like you in that reptilian mindset with the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands, okay? Like you're not gonna let anybody take from you what you work for. I see that that's it, librarian. What else can I get from this? And with the nine of pentacles, that's independent energy. You still, through it all, through all the nonsense, you still remain independent. 
Don't do that no more. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Your wittiness, your sharp-mindedness, your quick on your feet. You still, no matter through what the trials were thrown your way, this is a librarian woman I'm talking to. Shh. You still end up in mystical ecstasy. You still end up like this. Using the right discernment and evolution has led you to an evolution. And the Nine of Pentacles, you still remain financially independent. And what the three cards is under here is magical child. You and all your talents and abundance. Okay, and that's the King of Swords again. Very wise, very intelligent, and the world. Okay, that's fixed energy. Very wise. And then again, under that Create Your Art, the card underneath that, Sound Healing. Like I said, with the 432, what is it, watts or something? For, for Sound Healing, you know how to create something yourself. Then I got, I can expand time when I'm feeling inspired. I just told you not to do that while I'm recording. Stop doing it. That means sit down and be quiet. You hear people being irritating in the background? Because they're irritated by you and your independence. Be quiet. I don't care. Today, I consciously choose to think loving thoughts, take compassionate actions, and bring forth peaceful energy. I'm on my Zen shit, all right? I ain't on that DM shit, all right? I don't want to hear about that twin flame shit, all right? I'm probably messing up the words, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. You don't want to hear that shit. You get what I'm saying? That's the judgment card again. And somebody want to come in all passionate and say all these spitfire things, like Dylan. <laughs> Remember he was tripping. He pissed Diddy off so bad. You dig what I'm saying? He just told him, like, get out. I will mail you your stuff. I just need you to leave right now. I guess a new beginning. It's a fresh start. It's a professional start, but a fresh start. Somebody's going global, okay? You may be introverted about it this time. What I get from the Nine of Wands and the King of Swords, you're going to master how to do this maybe from the space of your home, through the internet. You know the do's and don'ts now. You, plant, you have planted seeds, so something's going to come into fruition moving forward with your creative endeavors. And it's two of them. So you have two different creative endeavors that you got going for you right now, okay, with creative, create art, and sound healing. So maybe the sound of your voice could be soothing for some. They like to listen to you speak. Maybe you can sing or just make sounds with your voice that are soothing to others. And people are going to pay to have you, to re have you record the sound of your voice so they can listen to it like a sharper sound image machine when they go to sleep or when they meditate, even if they read like me or give messages like me or do Reiki, even yoga. But it's something about your voice. Heavy emphasis on the throat chakra with the King of Swords is a great communicator. Knight of Swords is a communicator. The Justice is here. A lot of air energy here. Your, your energy is here, Libra. And it's also, kings are fixed energy. So that could be Aquarius energy. You can have Aquarius in your chart. Or just adapt to that innovative energy. With the magician and the two of swords, it's like, you don't make confusion for people. You just tell the truth and leave off the rest. Like, you're a badass. A divine badass. And you move forward with the chariot. Like, you're propelling this business or businesses forward. Librarian. Whoever dropped the ball or dropped you like they like you was a deflated basketball like you couldn't they treated you like you was deflated like you couldn't bounce back once they dropped you huge mistake you're the king they're the knight game over okay that's game you beat them at their own game and you ain't look back because the chariot talks about moving forward not knowing what's going to happen or who you're going to meet next all you know is you ain't looking back. You know where you came from didn't quite work out. Okay? Don't forget, you are the queen of wands. You're embodying that energy clarified by the ace of pentacles. You are of value and somebody dropped you like a deflated basketball. They don't bounce back. You see a basketball with air in it, they bounce back up. Hmm. 
Nine of Pentacles energy is independent. So you can blow your own damn. You can blow your you can blow smoke up your own ass. Or you can blow your own self up. You're going to blow up. What I hear from that is you're gonna blow up. Ace of Swords is here. Ace of Pentacles is here. Ace of Cups is here. I know that's right, librarian. Make them don't you don't even tell them to kiss your ass. Not not this time. Not this time. I know you're gonna say some some pretty witty things, and they're gonna want you to apologize. But you're on camera now. You can't say the devil made you do it. They'll sue you. You know you got you got to have contracts in place. Like the King of Swords know how to handle that shit. Okay. What is a Nine of Wands to a King of Swords? You look crazy right now. Whoever tried to play with you. Libra woman or a Libra man, which is like feminine energy regardless, but you and your masculine energy right now. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, librarian. Until next time.